reviewing Chef Reese's Kitchen in Pembroke Pines, Florida. This review is really unexpected. I was just about to head to Miami. I had stopped by and get some gas and I seen this place. This is a Jamaican inspired restaurant, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what it's hitting on. Starting out with the jerk chicken. Ooh, mmm, that chicken. This chicken is really good. So texture wise, this thing is like that. It's grilled, tasty, juicy, just slides right off the bone. And for the price, I ain't gonna lie to you. They give you a pretty good amount. Is it sweet? Yes. Is it balanced between sweet and spicy? Hell no. I need more spice in my life, you feel what I'm saying? But as for the chicken as a whole, just like that. This is what they call the world's famous fried chicken. And it better be good since you call it world's famous. If we're judging this off of presentation and texture, it is like that. But when it comes to flavor, hell no, hell no. Simply ain't nothing world's, world famous about this bitch. You didn't flavor the batter at all. You got the nerve, the audacity to call this world famous. You might wanna change the name to working in progress chicken until you get it right. This is the oxtail pasta. Uh, I don't know about this one. Let me at least taste the oxtail. Okay. All right, so the oxtails, bust them. They were slow cooked. Looks like they were browned, they're seasoned, fall off the bone. They just all around pretty good, ain't gonna lie. Now you gave me the tail end of the cow, but uh, still good. As for the pasta itself, um, I don't like it. I was expecting this to be creamy and a hell of a lot more flavorful than what it is, and it simply is not. Had this pasta been white, just a little salt and pepper, this would have been a problem. Rice and peas, oh. Ooh, I gotta rate this by itself. Let me be very, very clear. Rice and peas are mid. I've been eating rice and peas for a little over a couple of years now. Every rice and peas that I've had has been mid. These right here are the best rice and peas that I've had since trying rice and peas. And I think what he did was added a little bit of honey to it. That made the world of difference with this right here. Mac and cheese. Mm. Seems like the mac and cheese is baked. The noodles are al dente, but it's suffering from from the lack of lack of salt and pepper. But the cheese profile on this thing is it's really lit. And last but not least, the honey glazed salmon. Mmm. Well, he took the hell out of that salmon. I'm telling you that. Let me dip it in this honey and give me another bite. They really sauteed the out of this salmon. When you bite into this thing, it's gonna be a crunch that's gonna sound off and soften the taste buds, bro. Believe me. See if we can squeeze the juice out the lemon. Oh my God. This may sound weird. They would have gave me a fresh lemon instead of a lemon that's been already cooked. This would have been awesome. And they should have basted this more with the honey, but it's still really good. If you have in Pembroke Pines, Florida, check this place out.